Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. Sorry, we got a lot of traffic back here, so I may have to go to music. We will see what happens. I got a really nice one for you. Show you the sighting real quick, though. So you get this really nice sighting on the on this uh, not quite so tiny tiny home. It's actually classified as a cottage. It is a two bedroom, great big loft up there. That whole area is your loft. So it is a two bedroom, one bath cottage, as they call it. Eight hundred square foot, so that makes it a little more than a tiny home. It does feature, though, a tile shower. Once again, this really nice siding. Really big front porch area here. Now you can see these, uh, this window here does have the blinds built in. I'll just kind of give you a quick shot there. So you got some blinds built into your windows there. But you do have a ton of window space in the front of your home. Looking out onto that beautiful porch. Nice ceiling fan up there. So your living room area is pretty good size. Like I said, this is an 800 square foot home, so it's a little bigger than a tiny home, but not quite a full single wide. So they call this a cottage. So I have something real similar to this on the channel, also one of my first ones that I ever filmed, made by Kit Homes. This one's also made by Kit Homes. But that first one had some more cabinets right in that area right there. But you do got really nice cabinets in here. I love the natural stain they went with along with the dark colored counters. We have stainless steel. Frigid air appliances. Lots of cupboard space in here. And somebody asked if I got if they've got corner cabinets to show the corner cabinets. So in this one here, you've got this one just kind of goes back. Can you access it from this side? Nope, this is a different cabinet. So this one here just goes all the way back into that corner there. Plenty of drawers right next to your stove. And there's that loft. We'll get you a shot from up above there. And this one, I know it can be optioned with a pocket door for the bathroom. Door would go right there, slide to your left. But you've got decent amount of counter space in here. Hello rated. It is hot out today. It's uh, muggy and hot. So it's like 90 degrees outside, so I'm sweating a little bit because there's no AC in these homes. And I forgot to mention, we are at Greg's Homes in Kalispell, Montana. 
This is one of the very first places I ever came to film. So the uh, homes I did weren't all that great as far as the quality goes. They got a bunch of new ones, so I came back. So here's that really nice tile shower I was talking about. Now you can get this, I've, usually I see them with a shower tub combo. This is the first one I've ever seen with a tile shower, so that's really nice to see. The marble with the glass inlay looks really, really good. Even get a bench. That's a nice little bonus. And I wasn't quite sure if this was a kit home until I came into the bathroom here and saw that uh, window right there. So you do have room for a full-size set of stackable washer and dryers. So that's going to be your furnace. There are electrical boxes right there. That's your back door. And bedroom number two. So this bedroom is about the size of the front bedroom in your standard single wide. So overall it's a, for the size of the home, this is a big bedroom actually. Like I said, it's about the size of your average front room in your single wides. The water heater is in the closet. Not a lot of space to put it anywhere else. It does have a pocket door. Of course, I can't get it to come out right away, but rest assured there is a pocket door there. This is going to be your loft. We come up here. Great big loft up here. This is where being young comes in handy. Trying to crawl all the way up here. There we go. So really nice view from up here. So as you can see, this loft is really big. A lot of room up here. So your back bedroom. Now this one is a little bit bigger than the front one. You got the great big loft or vault in here. So this back bedroom is a lot bigger than the front bedroom with this great big vault. Even has a good sized closet in here. So it runs all the way down that way. So your closet runs from the end of the wall to the corner there. So that's a good size closet for the size of the home. And I would hope you guys would go down there and leave me a comment. What did you think? I really like the colors I used in here. Should I do more of these mid-size, or I should say cottages? Not quite tiny home, not quite single wide. Should I do more of these or are they a fit for the channel? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I do thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, by the way. It really helps out, especially if you hit that like button. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.